So we have here the eccentrically, eccentrically loaded columns design spreadsheet. So before that, we have to enable macros because we have macros in our spreadsheet. So press this one options. then enable macros for this content okay so we have three tabs we have the tension controls the compression controls and the Bressler's equation for the tension controls please input data on the blue cells only for this data here refer to the diagram we have here W for the column H for the column D prime here numbers of bar at D prime bar diameter in millimeter then we have number of bars in or at the neutral axis then we have the constants material constants here and of course the ultimate actual load actual and the actual ultimate moment to be carried by the column then we have the lateral tie diameter also make sure that it is the remarks here is tension controls otherwise if it is compression controls you have to go to this tab and input and input your data here okay so assuming this is tension controls then this will be your design calculation then there is a remark here so safe load it will carry 67 kilonewton and safe moment it will carry 67 kilonewton meter then we have the lateral tie design calculation so check you have to check this one the load and the moment if it is greater than the actual actual and moment carried by the column if it is greater than this one is greater than the actual then your column is okay now let's go to the compression uh, we have here the results if everything is okay then this is your design column and reinforcement so we have 300 by 300 column and 20 16 mm diameter bars with 10 mm diameter reinforcement or lateral tie reinforcement spaced at 256 mm on center for compression control similar you input the data here or the data here with the guidance of this diagram then if you see a compression controls remarks here then this tab is the right tab if not if it says tensions control tension controls then you go to the tensions control tab for your design okay so there's another thing here make sure you cal you press this button because we are using here newton's law of approximation so we need to calculate something so you have to press this one okay to activate the Newton's law of approximation calculation then this is the safe load it did carry and the safe moment it did carry this is kilonewton meter okay then there is code checking here satisfactory and the lateral tie design and spacing okay so the safe load it did carry is 365 and the moment it did carry safe moment it did carry is 35 kilonewton meter so if that is you have to compare that one to your actual PU and actual MU if those are greater than your PU actual and MU actual then this the this is correct or this is okay so if that is okay and the code is a satisfactory then this is your design column and reinforcement so 250 by 250 column with 6 16 mm diameter bars with 10 uh, mm diameters lateral tie spaced at 250 mm OC also if you have 
you can use Bristler's equations if you have uh, bending on both axes input the tabs here input the data here okay then check if Bristler equation is applicable and if it is satisfactory if not then if this is not applicable then disregard this one 